Go Canucks, go! Woohoo! So we're out here today and we're talking to true blue Canucks fans, as in fans that have been with the team forever. We're asking them about how they feel about this season and how do they feel about those of us, well, okay, I'll admit it, who jump on the bandwagon once the playoffs come around. Okay, Adam, how long have you been a Canucks fan for? Since the day I was born. Really? Uh, no, actually probably 16 years. Right? Since uh, 90, 94. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're on the eve of the playoffs. Are you nervous, anxious? Nervous would be an understatement. <laughs> I'd say uh, I can't sleep at night. But he's got some superstitions, especially when it comes to the playoff times now. Tell us a few of your more interesting ones. Okay, so I will PVR and tape the games that I attend mm -hmm. just in case they win. And if they win, I will keep that saved and rewatch that when times are tough. So what do you think about those people that are Flames fans? Uh, during the regular season, and then now we're probably going to get on the Canucks bandwagon. I say stay away. I don't want any <laughs> Flames fans uh, anywhere near me, that's for sure. Dave's got one of the better uh, fan outfits I've ever seen. And Dave, I have to say, I'm, I feel good for you today because it's not raining out. But Dave's, Dave's yeah. outfit's made out of uh, Canucks towels, the white towels. That takes me back to the days when we had to wear terry towel bathing suits. The thing that happens every year, you guys get a lot of extra fans joining in when the playoffs come, right? The bandwagon jumpers. What do you think of that? Oh, uh, you know, I can't say uh, I don't like it because, you know, the, the more the merrier with the fans, but it'd be nice if they uh, stayed on for the ride uh, afterwards. You know, it doesn't matter what happens, you always stay a Canucks fan. What about you, Michelle? What do you think is key to being a great Canucks fan? Um, well, for one thing, not jumping off the bandwagon when they start playing, not badly, but when they start losing games. Um, just having patience, I guess. You've been a fan yeah. forever, I take it. Yeah, even pre-NHL days. Really? Yeah. Has it been a long struggle being a Canucks fan? Is this the year you're really I, looking forward to? Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but I'll always enjoy them. Yeah? It doesn't matter. I mean, I, you never fall off the bandwagon? No. No? no. Well, you must enjoy them so much that you're wearing the ugliest jersey that was ever made. <laughs> ever. Ever? <laughs> well, I think I got another one that challenges it. Yeah? The one of the skate. Yeah. yeah. It's right up there, too. <laughs> Who's your favorite Canucks player? Henrik Sedin. Oh. Captain, you're going right to the top, huh? <laughs> so, Thomas, you've been a Canucks fan for a long time? Yes, yeah. So, tell me, how exciting is this season for you? Oh, you know, it's. Uh, we were talking the other day about um, just sticking with kind of your team for so many years and regardless of the outcome, and now you look at this year being the 40th anniversary and I'm sure glad that I stuck on the bandwagon <laughs> and kept going and they're sure doing really well, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing I'm asking people today is there's it always happens with the Canucks. There's people that do hop on the bandwagon sure. for the playoffs and then they get disappointed and then they're off the bandwagon. So I want to know your piece of advice for somebody who's new coming to cheer for this team. What do they need to do to prove that they're a true Canucks fan? You know, regardless whether somebody wins or loses, it's, you know, you're dedicated to that team regardless. Right. And uh, so for me, it's if they win the cup, great. But either way, they are the number one in the league and... Uh, you know, they've had an amazing season. Can you make a prediction? Anything less than uh, less than the Stanley Cup, and uh, you may never see me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just means you're going into hiding, right? I, I don't know what that means. I may have to leave the city. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We don't want to alarm your family or anything. <laughs> well, if, if any year, this is the year. We just got to wait and see. Maybe we should go find some wood to knock on now, huh? Yeah. <laughs>